My mouth is getting fucked. Careful with your fingers and your eyes. Hey, what's going on, everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans, and you're watching Hot Ones, the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. And today I'm joined by actor, director, Gary Delabate's nemesis, Michael Rappaport in the building. How you doing, man? I'm good, I'm good. I'm glad to be here. We have 10 wings. They get crazy hot. I have 10 questions for you. If you get all the way through, 30 second plug is all yours. Very big <laughs> jackpot with win? this show. Such high stakes. I get the honor of plugging something? Yeah. Okay. You ready? First wing, sriracha. So I have the first wing. Yep. So, you know, nothing. I eat these all day. I'm a big fan of Snoop's GGN show, and one of my favorite episodes ever was the one that you were on, and it featured this crazy story about you seeing the meeting between Tupac and Snoop for the yeah. first time. Yeah. Snoop had literally just come out. This was right after Deep Cover, before his record came out. Tupac rolled Snoop Dogg his first blunt moments after that, which I think should be some sort of national holiday. <laughs> it should definitely the be the first day, front page first news. time Snoop Dogg smoked a blunt. That's like a a pivotal moment in time. There's a photo moments after. John Singleton, Ice Cube, and Tupac, and I was like, because <laughs> I knew, you knew, like you knew it was something special. All right, number two, Tapatio. If that was nothing, this, this is gonna be nothing. another nothing. Easy. So Snickers to me. What's your question? When the Knicks drafted Kristaps Porzingis, yeah. like many Knicks fans, you buried him. I knew nothing about him. You got on the Dan Patrick show and you buried him again. Buried him twice. Are you like the rest of these coward Knicks fans who are now dropping to their knees and kissing the ring on I'm not Porzingis? Kissing the ring. He averages 14 points a game. But not that I was right. I didn't know who he was. It was a, a visceral, emotional reaction, unlike this hot sauce doing nothing to me. Good God. I saw him at a Knicks game. We made eye contact. He saw me, I saw him, we saluted each other, and he went about his way. Mutual respect. This one is El Yucateco Caribbean Habanero. Should be no problem for you. You directed a great documentary, Tribe Called Quest, Beat Rhymes in Life, and I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you, you know, with all the time you spent with Fife Dog, what's your lasting memory? Would you You take know who away? would love this? Who would have loved doing this? Who? Fife Dog. He would have loved, he would have been great with this. I never saw him not light up or appreciate when someone approached him about being fight from a tribe called Quest. Always was like, peace fam, what's up fam? You know, love, love. You know, he every single time when he was tired, you know, going through hell, always like, when you think of like the best of New York, Fife Dog. So. Well said. Pain is good. Screaming child. It's called on the Pain cover. is good. Pain is good. And we're only at number four. Number four. Damn. How you feeling? This is nothing no, to me. Okay, all right. <laughs> I feed these to babies. Babies, are, spit this out, I want man food. You've been in a bunch of rap music videos, Jay-Z, Ludacris, Talib Kweli. You know, when I did the Jay-Z video, um, You Belong to the City, unfortunately, it was probably the first Jay-Z song and the only Jay-Z Jay -Z song in the last 20 years that wasn't a big hit. But before Ben Stiller and before the bandwagoners and I love Ben Stiller and every single other fucking actor, I was in the videos. I was fucking with Jay-Z then, no Bruno. And uh, now everybody's in videos and blah, blah, blah. So I'll say that, I, 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 I'm proud of that. Quality, same thing, where and when. Most, most of the time, for instance, Complex had asked me to do this, I say. Where, where and when? I'm that kind of guy. Love it. You know, if I was a girl, you'd consider me easy. Are you where ready to move on? Yeah. Nothing. Many spikes. Nothing. Many spikes. This guy here, nothing. Soft. Who is this guy? M Micro Batch? All right, this is exciting because this is actually <laughs> our hot sauce. The Hot Ones hot sauce. It's made by our friends Homeboy's Hot Sauces out of Phoenix. Homeboy's Hot Sauce. Homeboy's Hot Sauce. It's distributed by Heatness. You can buy it online. Very big day for Hot Ones because now we have our own whoa, hot whoa, sauce. Whoa, 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 You're giving this fucking, these guys more of a plug than I may or may not this get This is our show. Industry. But if I don't make it through this, then the, the fucking hot sauce gets a plug and I'm sitting here with my, my, my dick in my hand and a, and a, and a napkin in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're cruising through the wings, man. It cruising. looks like you're not gonna have a problem anyway. Your resume is so vast, you probably have over 100 acting credits over the last 15 years. What's the most bizarre role you think you've ever turned down? Not even a handful. There's one or two things that I turned down, but I would never say that because it would discredit the people that did it. 
and I don't think that that's classy. And I'm I'm known for being a classy guy. Oh yeah, through and you through. You know what I mean? I mean, like when you say Michael Rappaport, class is like Elegance, usually different. Sophistication. Mm, talk about the looks. Mm -hmm. Second. 99.9% .9 of the time, you can tell right away if it's gonna be good, bad, or garbage. Literally, you walk onto a set. You know right away? Right away. You can tell how people are speaking to each other. The bigger movies are the ones where I've had that feeling immediately. Call my agent like, what the fuck is, you just got there. I go, this is a fucking mess. But you know, I'm fortunate to have been doing this for so long and continue to get opportunities to work as an actor and improve as an actor and grow as an actor. I have no complaints. I, I tell you one complaint I have. Yeah. Is you're talking about your hot sauce here. Here's the deal. And if fucking, you go, I was gonna I, ask I, I about this. I rinse my mouth with this. Well, my breath is bad. I rinse my mouth with this. Oh yeah, then like do it. Like nothing. Then do it. Oh boy, hot sauce. This is a palate cleaner. Okay. Did you at least like it? Did you? Did it's you great. Find... Let's talk about the I Am Rapport podcast for a second. It's a hot take um, excuse factory. Me. Excuse me. It's the I Am Rapport. Stereo podcast. St my that there is the I don't know what kind of sound you got here. The Iron Rapport Stereo, stereo pod Podcast. All right, Please. Stereo Podcast. Please. I want to name some of the people that you've gone after recently, and you can just let me know what your problem is, okay? okay? Gene Simmons. If he doesn't have a hair transplant, it looks like he does. And if he does have a hair transplant, he should get his money back. He said rap should die. He's one of the reasons why classic rock went away. The makeup and the, they were eating dogs and, and, and killing pigeons and the smoke and mirrors because the music sucked. Did you ever listen to Kiss's greatest hits? I just know that yeah. I want to rock. That's it. There is no line. greatest hits. It's one great hit and a fucking freak show. Caitlyn um, Jenner. Bruce wasn't that interesting and it turns out that Caitlyn isn't either. Right. I'm over it. The woman of the year doesn't... I, I'm over it. That's all I'm going to say. What about Donald Trump? Donald Trump, is, I was amused and inspired by some of the sort of way he was talking in a political form. He was bringing it down to a more um, sort of regular level yeah. in the beginning. Right. But I, I, he concerns the shit out of me. You know, he was up there talking about un unfolding the loaf, you know, in his dick game and all that shit. Yo, even, even I would know that if you're running for a political office, the president has to have some sort of Cool. Right, that's what I was thinking. Like, I'm not Mr. Politics <laughs> either. Like, you and me probably have similar sensibilities. You know, this guy's getting harder and harder to find funny. You know, like this It guy's ain't getting, funny. Right. It ain't cool no more. So now we're at this, pain 100. Normally, when do they take their first sip of water? Four in, five in. Like, you're way ahead of the curve. Savage. You've been able to get work consistently in this industry over the course of three decades. I see you palling around with some serious power brokers, buddies with Bieber, but then yeah. you get on this podcast and you'll just tee off on people like, like we do on this floor. And it's interesting because there seems to be a lot of politicking in the entertainment industry, but somehow you get away with it. Hey, it is what it is, you know, I mean, we're, we're, it's a comedic podcast. I don't think we ever make it personal. I, th I think we keep it in a public sort of persona, public thing, all things that are sort of, it's like, it, not, we're not doing anything original. I, 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 you notice my lips are starting, I don't think my lips are working now. Well, I'll, I'll hang. Go ahead, man, can I eat the pain? Yeah, 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 I already did. How is it? It's not good. In the front nine of this of this challenge, you were very chirpy, and now I see that it's leveled off a little bit. My, I can't feel my lips. So that's what I'm telling you. <laughs> I thought you were tough. Joey Fatone from NSYNC came in here last night and was sweating a lot less than you. Well, that's great. That I'm the fucking, I'm the follow-up guest to Joey Fatone. Fuck my life. <laughs> All right, I know thanks that, for telling me that. I know that you're a big Real Housewives fan. Yes. Atlanta's your favorite, right? Or do you like the other ones? Atlanta and New York. And you've known Dame Dash since you were a little kid. What do you think of the news that I read yesterday that they're thinking about replacing Kim Fields with Stacey Dash on Real Housewives of Atlanta? Are they really? Yeah, what do you think of that move? I don't like that. Why not? I think the thing that's fascinating and good about it is you don't know these people to begin with. I, I, and obviously, oh, hell man. That's my answer, that's my short answer, y'all. Can you cue music? Tupac hit him up. 
Uh, that's the theme song for this. Hit him up. What's this shit? Mad Dog 357. Three, five, why, would, why would you want to eat this? Somehow it got into my nose, man. Yeah, it gets all over. You know, I got a deviated septum. <laughs> I do. And a lot of excuses. A lot of excuses. Oh, man. I'm not fucking with you now, man. You're in Woody Allen's new Amazon series. I need a new napkin because I'm afraid that I'm going to burn my fucking eyeball. And you're alongside Miley Cyrus, who's public persona, very eccentric, very colorful, very loud. When you met her, did you meet the Miley Cyrus <laughs> you expected to meet, or was it a totally different person entirely? Totally cool. Um, very charismatic. Sweet. Totally professional. Um, nice to everybody. And uh, I think she's going to be fantastic in the Woody Allen Amazon series. Remember when you're just chucking wings around the studio? It seems like so long ago. <laughs> it seems like a lifetime ago. I wanted to talk about reality shows with you. You want to keep talking about reality shows? I can't talk about shit. Do you fuck with Vanderpump Rules? Fuck with Vanderpump Rules, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Loving Hip Hop Atlanta, Loving Hip Hop New York. Mm. Want me to do my top five? I was going to do top five dead or alive. Give it to me. Nini's the center, Nini okay. leaks. My point guard is Bethany. My shooting guard is the Puerto Rican princess. Sister Patterson. Number four. And I'm gonna go with Portia. Portia from Real Housewives of Atlanta. To fill and my it out. coach. Coach. Stevie J. Stevie J, that's a good coach. He's fucking great. Ray J would have been a good coach. Ray J's the fucking GM. Do you know what he does better than any? guy in the history of the world. His fuck style is buck wild. <laughs> I can't see. Like it's like smoky. This is where heroes are made. You know? This Why last- Why am I doing this? Why am I here? Things are good. They're they're good. You were having a good morning. Like, no, my life and my world. Up. What am I You didn't need to fuck it up what like What the fuck am I doing ones. here? <laughs> You're such an NBA fan, I gotta drop some names on you so I can get some snap judgments off you from those, okay? Okay, but I want it to be coincide. Ask the question, I'll take the bite, because I don't right. want to fuck around So that's here. what we're doing. Let's Snap my judgment. head in the fucking toilet. LeBron James. Unfollowing the Cavs on Twitter and Instagram. Why? Why would he do Why? that? Why? Do you follow Complex Media? Yes. Okay. If you unfollow Complex Media... It would be a thing. Okay. A big thing. Probably right. bigger than the LeBron James thing. <laughs> yeah, way bigger. When that little reporter meekly asked him about not following the Cavaliers, he acted like he shouldn't be asking him that question. I didn't like how that reporter was like, Excuse me, I'm sorry that I have to ask yeah. you this. I was like, dude, just uh, just ask a question, hand job. What the fuck? And then the other thing about that is LeBron, answer that fucking question. Answer the question. You didn't follow him. You know everybody's watching you. Steph Curry. He's the best. He's so good, so unique. And last one, because I have to ask you, uh, Carmelo. I feel bad for Carmelo at this point. I say they should they should cut him and 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 let him go where he should go. He deserves better than he stayed. You can stop me. You don't have to. Eat that shit. <laughs> well, you made it to the top of the mountain. It was a hot take factory, just as I hoped it would be. The sauces kind of kicked your ass at the end, but you made it all the way through, and that's got to count for something. 30 seconds, let the people know. I'm not letting them know anything. I let them, you asked me about everything. I've shamed myself, my family, and people that call me friends doing this shit. Have you actually got to the point where someone plugs something after this? Yeah, Yo, my usually people, coming out. Yeah, exactly. Like they don't get all the way through just to like. I do it for the love, the sport. I'm Rappaport Stereo Podcast, Amazon series, Woody Allen's new Amazon series. <laughs> and then if you need him for a rap music video, just call him and he's there. If it's good, <laughs> gotta be good. I'm not gonna just do any rap video.